All right, guys, so everybody's telling me that um, you can calibrate these if they have a nut on the back side of them like these do. And you can see both of them's reading different. One's just uh, probably about 92, and the other one's about 88. So we're going to try this with some ice water and see what happens. So let's go take a look and see if it'll work. guys everybody's telling me that you can calibrate these dial style um, thermometers so I've got them kind of pretty cooling if you will up here in the AC so what we're gonna do they're saying that you can put them in ice water and it's 32 degrees so we have a fresh cup of Taco Bell ice water let's get them put in here So we'll leave them sitting for a little bit and uh, get them down as low as they can. And then we'll calibrate them according to the way I was saying. I say you can turn the nut and twist the rod to get it to the desired temperature that you want. And they're good to go. So let's give this just a second and see what happens. All right, guys, you can see this one here looks to be about 36, 38. And this one here is actually colder than freezing. It's pretty amazing, huh? That one's like 26, 28. So we'll start with this one. Like, I have not tried this, first of all. Let me put this clause in here. I have not tried this. I don't know if it'll work or not. I may turn the nut and the whole back fall off. Who knows? So anyway, we're going to try this. Um, the guy said you can loosen the nut, turn the rod, and there you go. You can calibrate it. Let's just see if we can get the nut loose to start with. Mm -hmm. All right, this is a hard nut to crack. I can't get it to. and uh, try this again because I can't get it to bust loose. So, <laughs> let's try it again. Maybe we should try it with this one. Since it's been in the ice water a little more, we need to raise it up like four degrees or so. Now I did try fitting this. This is some cheap Chinese knockoff and it will not fit a standard wrench. So don't make fun of me for having to use my fit all wrench because right, I'm turning it <laughs> I got it up to 200 something degrees let me go back down let's try it right there well, that one actually did move and we'll check it right there oh she's dropping way too much I can hold it. Turn it really in there. I don't know. All right, so that one's thirty two. Let's try this one because I don't have a look before. And here's where y'all probably watch me destroy a thermometer that's not reading right anyway. So I'm pretty sure that's what's fixing to happen. But you guys are gonna get to see it here first. Right, it's turning. If I don't break it first. I don't understand why it's so hard to turn. I'm bust the damn glass out. I mean darn glass out of it. I can't turn that my hand. Tough boy. Huh. Let's just 
first track right there for a second because we're going to have to probably do a couple of do-overs. Oh yeah, way past it. I need to come up with that one a little too. That one's close though. I can actually live with, with that little bit. Actually, 32 degrees. Here's where I'm going to turn it over. Probably. I should quit while I'm ahead, but oh no, I'm too dumb for that. Too dumb for that. Alright guys, so there you see, uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought I was going to spell that water, didn't you? Be honest, I know, I did too, I thought it was going to do everywhere. Anyway, it does work, you can um, calibrate your dial style thermometers, so if you got them, like these were actually pretty bad off at one point, they was reading, you know, a good bit different, so hopefully now we've got them on the same page. But anyway guys. That's how you can calibrate your dial style thermometers with a 16 cent or 14 cent cup of Taco Bell ice water. It has to be Taco Bell ice water. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. Like always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check the links in the description. There's some cool bonus discount codes in there. Anyway, click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a great day and get back to work.